Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art and welcome to my channel. And uh, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, you helping me by being here helps me have reason to continue to make tutorials for everybody. And hopefully you guys learn something and um, yeah, we all just have a good time together. <laughs> so um, what I've got going on here are some jar lids. I went to uh, Dollar Tree to get these. Each of these jars are $1.25. And I tape them off. Because I'm going to be resin resining these as I do most of my functional art, really. <clears throat> Even my clocks. And, um, yeah, I've got my color palette that I've been using. I use this on the Fusion. I use this on coasters. And I still have more paint, so I'm going to use them on lids. Because the color combination is working. The lids... And the jars always sell. I'm just going to keep making more because I've got everything here. Might as well. So what I have is my Glidden. This is what I've been using for my pillow, which is my Glidden 6011N. I don't mix it up. Maybe roll it around a little bit, but I don't mix. I don't stir anymore. So let's just get to it. I'm going to get started here. I'm going to lay some of the pillow down. And what I've got here is my Noosa cup. And then on top of the Noosa cup, I've got a little two, little two ounce cup. I've got to remember that this Glidden spreads a lot more than the, the Multi-Pro. So you've got little, um, a little two ounce cup just sitting underneath, centered there. So let me just get this thing centered. That's pretty close. So yeah, these things, you can knock these things out quick and dirty. So my colors, this is my Naples yellow from Amsterdam and I added to it some uh, titanium white by Golden. This is uh, TLP's White Haven with Golden's Iridescent Pearl. And I just reconstituted a couple of these colors. Because, uh, you know, after a couple days, they get a little thick, and you got to kind of re revitalize them with a little pouring medium, maybe a little color, a little bit of spritz of water, whatever's going to make it come back to life and have the right consistency. I usually run on a heavy consistency side or a thicker consistency side. Not um, that I want to be really thick, but on these little small guys, it doesn't matter so much. This is Arteza Bordeaux Red. This is a combination of Deco Arts uh, Ruby from Extreme Sheen and Grenache from TLP. So if you're new here and like what you see, please subscribe, hit the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. Thanks a lot. My gold combination, 24 karat gold. By Deco Art and Iridescent Gold by Golden. And people have asked, why do you mix your paints? Well, I like to mix up my colors for a variety of reasons, either to get the right consistency, to get the right bling. In this case, I like the bling of the 24 karat and I like the softness of the of the iridescent. Sometimes I mix because I'm trying to get a color in between colors. It's just there's a lot of different reasons why I might mix my colors up. Plus, I might just have extra colors laying around. I want to just put them all together and use them up. This is my Golden Iridescent Bronze. And I am a Drizzler. I think this gives the paints more of a chance to uh, kind of breathe between each other. And this is TLP's Galaxy. I think, and Amsterdam's Lamp Black. I have a lot of paint on here. These little guys don't take much paint. And they're quick, and they're fun. The only trickiest part is the resining. All right, cell activator, my American Floatrol cell activator. It's recipe 141 if you want to look at it. People swear by it. I swear by it. I think it's every bit as good as the Australian. 
save yourself some money. It's an eight-minute video. Check, check it out if you're having trouble with cells. This works. It works. That's the titanium white. This is the oxide black. Always mix it before you lay it down. And let's go. And the cell activator recipe goes with my pouring medium, which is video 140. If you'd like to check that, I have linked it above. So when I create these, I'm blowing straight down into the cell activator to get a ridge to form, and then I aim my blow at the ridge and blow it out over the paints and the paints over the pillow. I'll be teaching jar lid creations at the Fluid Art Boutique in DC from the 6th to the 8th of August, if interested. I've already got, already got spilling over the spillway. And these are trickier because of the shape, the shape of this lid. This lid is tricky. Look at right here. See how it's like hourglass shape? You got to make sure you get your paint inside that little groove. Not only the paint, but also the resin. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that, that uh, Naples yellow is really popping in the middle. Tip it this way a little bit. I've done that a couple times where I've actually tipped it right off. And it's like, oh no! And it's always the best one. <laughs> but then you always come back and you make a better one. So you know what? It's always good. You always learn when something bad happens. It's oftentimes the blessing in disguise. All right, so I got to get this covered over here, and I got to make sure that the bottom is covered. And I may end up blowing it on it underneath like I do my ornaments when I'm making my uh, round ornaments and I'm trying to get the paint to come underneath. If you blow with a straw, it helps blow the paint into the bottom and kind of seal the gap. Yeah, we got to spin this a little more. Come on, let's go. So in the interest of time, I'm going to cut out some of the spinning or speed through. Here's what the jars look like. $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. I mean, come on. You can't beat that. And they're great because they're airtight. They have that little gasket in there. All right, I still got to get this to the edge. Let me give it a little motivation. Let's kind of push it in that direction and let the paint gravitation or um not gravitationally centrifugal centrifugally go in that direction oh but i see now it's a little lopsided i've gone off center but that's okay you can always bring it back all right let me On the other side, underside, I'm not really stressing about if anything. I'll just push the paint down there. I just got to spin it some more. Percent centered. So I'm just going to push the paint to the edge. So I'm going to cut out a lot of this, but I've explained what I'm doing here, and we're going to move forward. Whoa. I'm going to pick this thing up. Give it another spin. I can't believe it's taking me 16 minutes to make this guy. Okay, I'm going to pick this up like this. Here she is. 
So everyone, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm showing here two of the finished four creations I made with this color palette. And I want to point out that I always show you the final finished resin results so you see that I actually went from the beginning to fruition in the creation process. And I also want to say if you're new here, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell and all. You'll get all my latest art tutorials. And while I consider myself primarily a fluid art channel, I do do a lot of resining. And if you wanted to see more detailed tips about resining, please email me. My email is in the description and I can make you a personalized and customized tutorial on how I resin the pieces. I don't show everything in every video here because the videos have become too long. So at the end here, I'm going to have also a link to my playlist of other jars so you can see other color combinations and other creations. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Till next time.